Good morning. My name is Regina and today I'm going to be talking to you about a novel called Pet Cemetery. Death is a mystery and burial is a secret. I chose this quote because I think it successfully represents the book in a simple phrase. I was looking for quotes, but I think that this is one of my favorites. This phrase is written after the author has given his introduction, so before the story starts. And I think it gives a good idea of what is coming. The title of this book is Pet Cemetery. It was written by Stephen King in 1982 and it belongs to the horror genre. Pet Cemetery has three main themes surrounding it, death, grief and trauma. The main idea of the book is the following. Dr. Lewis greeting his family moved to a new home in front of a busy road that has taken the lives of many pets from neighbors. Because of this, there is a pet cemetery in the woods nearby made by the children of the neighborhood. What Louis doesn't know is that there is something much sinister behind it. There are five main characters, Louis Creed, Gage Creed, Judd Crandall, Ellie Creed, and Rich Creed, but I also consider the cat Ellie's pet to be very important. There are two important events in the book that won't give out too much of the plot. First, the visit to the pet cemetery. This is the key event that leads to everything else. It is at the moment we start to see themes of grief. Seeing all the animal graves leaves Louis' daughter thinking and she starts to get extremely worried about her cat, Church, dying someday. The second one is the death of Victor Pasco, who got his head destroyed when he was struck by a car. He was his first patient at Louis' new job. He watches him die horribly and suffers from some paranormal stuff related to him. The experience leaves him with a bitter taste. Both events make clear that death will be an important theme in the book and they may be a hint of what is coming. When was it written and under what context? Stephen King found himself in a similar situation. He was invited to spend some time with his family at a similar place as the protagonist. The road and the pet cemetery were both there. Her daughter's cat was killed on the road and his son was saved by him from suffering a similar fate. The grief his daughter experienced and the immense fear King felt of losing his son at that moment and wondering what if made him reflect on death and inspired, and inspired him to write the book. This is a really unique horror story. It is not just scary because scary things happen, but it makes you think about things that are scary. Not only dying but losing someone. It really focuses on that grief feeling, which I think is a different type of fear that the one we get from a monster or a ghost. It is more of a psychological matter. It has a trauma undertone and explores the way the idea of death performs in your minds. What would I consider the author wants readers to take from the experience of reading the book? From events that happen in the book, I think Stephen King wants us to be scared of course, but also to think about death, but not too much at the same time, but just enough to see it as something natural in most cases. Also, to learn to forget, move on, and accept things we might not like. If you like horror or suspense stories, I would totally recommend this book. First, it is really well written and gives you the right amount of detail so that you know what the author is imagining while also being able to imagine yourself. Second, the story is very suspenseful and intriguing, and it is ironically a very human story. It evokes a lot of feelings. And last but not least, critics call it Stephen King's most frightening novel, so if you like this kind of stuff, it will not disappoint in that sense. Thank you for your attention.